If you remember in the previous video on this sequence of, of actually producing a game, I'd managed to get a system going where I had a spacecraft moving left and right on the screen, which is what you can see in front of us here. And um, this particular spacecraft here, if I just click in the screen, you can see moves left and right. So this is where we'd left ourselves last time. And we decided that what we really wanted to look at now was something to do with the stars in the background over here moving like this. Okay, so I want all these stars to be moving downwards, which will give us the illusion, because we're playing with this guy, and we figure that, that we're in here, we'll see all these stars moving underneath, and we'll think, oh, actually, you know what? We're moving forwards. Okay, and that coupled with the left and right movement will give us this, this feeling that we're in a spaceship traveling up the screen, or at least up the level. That's the theory of it, folks. The key is in um, actually putting this sort of thing together, isn't it? So let's have a look at what we're doing here. Well, there are two different ways that we can implement stars. What we could do is we could set up individual, well, we could set up an object called star, okay? Or whatever we want to call it, it's up to us. And it takes care of moving objects through the screen. So stars randomly appear up here. They travel this way, okay? They have a random color, I would imagine having blue, yellow, if I can write the word yellow, and, um, and white stars, because I always think that looks nice. And because they would move at different speeds, it would give the illusion of depth. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is that I draw a simple star field in a map with stars dotted around it like this, and I draw three of them. One, so I tell you what, let me do the next one in a different color. Okay, then I draw another one Okay, each of these is going to be 128 by 128. And then finally I draw a third one, okay, like this. So I've drawn three maps with stars, okay. And then what's important is I draw each of them over the top of the other so that I end up with, on my screen, these stars moving relatively quickly, these stars moving a bit more slowly, and these ones moving even more slowly. And hopefully that will give me a fairly convincing um, star field. So this is the route I'm going to go into. Okay. Um, and I think I'll stick with these colors. I think the object route would work equally well. Um, but I think I will try this one first. If it turned out to be utter junk, then maybe we'll look at implementing an object. But we'll try this for the starters. Okay. So let's get ourselves into our code and let's see if we can work out what we need to do. So first things first, I am going to need some star graphics. So let's have a simple star. Okay, this is this seems ridiculously um, profligate with the with the tiles actually. Let's have a, a star like that. Let's have a slightly bigger star. Okay, something like this. Maybe it has a bit of blue in the middle as well. Okay, so that's a big star. We'll have a, a smaller star and we'll have a small yellow star. Okay, so hopefully this will give us enough stars to draw maps with. So the first one, let's take this one and I'm just going to draw these stars around the map. Okay. one of these and the odd blue star as well okay so there's one map then I'm going to take another one which is going to be another 128 and I'm going to draw a couple of stars on this one okay here we go so I've got a couple of stars there. The more I think about this, the more I think this probably seems quite wasteful, but because I'm not going to be using very many other maps for this game, um, I think we can get away with this. So we'll see what we get. Um, it might well be that the object route is the better one, but we'll just find out by the time we've done it. Hang on. I'm not sure about those big stars as well, but I'm going to put them in and we'll see what happens. This, this one seems very, very colourful, doesn't it, compared to the others still. We'll see. 
Okay, so I've got, if I zoom out now, oh, you can't see a thing because they're um, just single dots. I can do that. Okay, so here are, our, here are all our stars. Okay, so I'm gonna keep using this particular um, system here, but I'm just gonna blank off because I wanna see the spacecraft moving against things. So this one is going to be set up craft. Okay, and then down here, I'll have set up stars. All right, so I've got three maps and they're all gonna move past each other. So I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna call them map one. Why? Because they're moving up the screen. Okay, and that's gonna be naught. I'm gonna have map two Y, which is gonna be naught, and map three Y, which is also gonna be naught. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be the location I draw them. And then some speeds. Map one speed, which is gonna be, say, one. Map two speed, which I'm gonna make half of that, 0 0.5. And map three speed, which equals 0 0.25. This one doesn't follow the same pattern, and that annoys me. There we are, that's better. So I've set up those three there, okay? And I think I will put map height, because if I decide I want to change anything, I can do. They're all 128 high, okay? So, well, tell you what, first of all, let's just draw those maps on the screen. So down here, I'm gonna have draw stars. And for that, I'm just going to go map, naught, 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 16, 16. So that's the first map, okay? The second one, map, uh, you see, this is where this is where programming veers away from the idea that somehow you're sort of a, 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 a guru that carries everything in their head. I cannot for the life of me remember which way around these zeros are here. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to load up um, Chrome, Okay, or I'm going to try and load up, load up Chrome, and I'm going to go to Pico8 Map. Okay, so I've loaded up Chrome. I'm going to search for Pico8 Map, which I've got there, and there it is, Map. So this is the bit I want, right? Map cell X cell Y. That's the map cell, the region to draw the row location of the map cell, and then this is the X and Y on the screen here. Okay, and that's the width. They're all 16 by 16, that's fine. So these are the cell locations of the map in the map section. This is where we're drawing it on the computer. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So if I come back to our code, that 0, 0 represents, if I come up here, this 0, 0 here. So the next map is gonna be drawn here, okay? Which is 16, zero. You can see the um, tile down there, 16, zero. So that's the first one. If I just copy this. The second one is there, third one there. So that one is at 16, zero. And this one is gonna be at 24, no it's not, 32, zero. So let's see what we get now. Oh, hang on, I've realized something. If I do it like this, if I run this, that's all fine, but you'll notice the stars are in front of the spacecraft. I don't know if you can notice it, but you can just see it there um, because I've drawn the spacecraft and then I've drawn the stars. So I'm just gonna cut that and I'm gonna put the stars there, okay? Now, the important thing here is that these two coordinates give me the X and the Y on the screen. So actually, this is going to be at map one Y, and this one's gonna be at map, no, done it again, two Y, and this one is going to be at map three Y. Okay, so I'm gonna draw each of the stars at that location. Good, everything still looks all right, okay. Now, to make a map scroll, just come up to the function update again. Scroll map. This is going to be automatic. They're all just going to move by their speed. 
So map one y is going to move by map one speed. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for. Let's have a look. Uh, so I'm going to paste them in. Map two and map three are going to move map two speed, map three speed. So let's see how that looks. It didn't like it because attempt to perform global arithmetic on map one underscore y. Really? Oh, yeah, really. There is no underscore. Let's run it again. Okay, so why has that not moved map one y? Because down here, I put a gap in. Um, because I'm not applying maths to this particular section, it doesn't matter. It's just assumed that the variable doesn't exist. Let's try it now. Ooh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, you'll notice, of course, that the stars have disappeared completely. How do we get away with that? Well, we just draw it twice. Okay, so we come up to here and we're going to draw them again. Okay, but it's going to have a gap of, I think I just defined the variable, map height. Okay, so there's going to be another one sitting behind it. Which is going to be that far away. Okay. Actually, it's going to be above it. Why? No. Okay. So now if we run it, we got a little bit more. Okay, so that's starting to look better. I think that's not too bad for a star field. I don't like those big stars though. I think they're pretty rubbish. So I'm just going to replace that with a star like this and this one maybe with a double star that's looking better okay so you can definitely see now that we're starting to get something that looks a bit like traveling through space but still we're ending up with no stars because they've drifted off the screen so what are we going to do there well up here that's simple enough we just have to ask the question for each of those if map 1y is greater than, so in other words, if we've moved off the screen, so it's greater than 128, then map 1y equals, now let's have a think about this, okay, because this is where I always end up getting myself confused. So I'm going to doodle here while we think about what's going on. Here is my screen, okay? And here is map one sitting there. And then I'd also draw a second copy of it up here. And it moves down the screen. So it gets to the point here, okay, where this is map one. And this one here is the plus, uh, sorry, the um, minus 128 one there. Okay, so there's the map, there's one minus 128. So if at this point I take this one and put it here this one's going to disappear because it's going to go up above it up there so I've actually got to wait until this one gets down to here but that's not going to work either because then there's going to be a gap so how am I going to fix this I need to what if I drew this plus Yes, plus. If I drew it plus, then that's down there. Then just as this scrolls off, this can go back to here and it will jump back on. But it's still going to get a gap. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to mess around with it and something somewhere will work. I always get myself completely confused by this one. Um, let's go in that. Let's go here. I'm going to set it to zero first and see what happens. Okay, so I'm only interested in... I'm going to un... One thing that's really useful when you're programming a game is bin things you're not interested in. So I'm just going to worry about map one. Okay, and what should happen? Why is it drawing all of them? Oh, because it's drawing them there as well. Okay, so I'm only interested in map one. So here it comes. How are we looking? I think we're getting away with it. There's a bit of a jump there. You see that, yeah, there's a little stutter. I wonder if I set the map to 127, 
and run it. I wonder if there'll still be a stutter or whether it'll be smooth. Oh, it's still stuttering. Yeah, that's getting a bit of a stutter. I'm 29. Let's have a look. That seems to be smoother. Yeah, fairly happy with that. I think actually this could have been 127 and that could be 128. Let's try that. So here we go, it's scrolling down, scrolling down and flying my ship, everything's looking quite nice. I would say that's a relatively decent background. Good, okay, so if I copy this bit of code, control C, I'm gonna paste and paste, and this is gonna be for map two and map three. So map two and map three, and then I'm gonna come down here, delete that, that, delete, delete. So now if I escape and run, here I am flying over my background. Okay, and I've got stars moving at different speeds across a different background. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. That's not too bad. It might be a bit busy in terms of stars, but definitely now you can see that you feel like you're moving along the screen, flying along through space. Okay, in that particular way. So that's not a bad um, movement from there. I'm just going, because I think they're just a bit too busy actually. So I'm gonna go especially into um, the first one here. I also think actually there aren't enough stars on the very edge of things. So I'm gonna go into each of these and I'm gonna add a couple of edge stars here, here, and here, and on this one, some edges, another one there, to define the edge of the screen because I have a feeling it just felt as though there weren't very many. But then also using this one because oh, my mouse has gone strange. This one so I can just remove things. I think I had a few too many and possibly too many of the colored ones as well. Um, here we go. Let's have a look. Maybe that'll be better. Yes, I think that feels better. Okay, good. So I now have a scrolling spaceship and, or uh, sorry, a sideways moving spaceship and a scrolling background. So I feel at this stage that I've got something that's starting to work. So I'm gonna have to make sure I save this, save it as vertical scroll, let's say. Okay, so I am happy with where I sit at the moment. So the next tutorial, I think it's time to look at how to get this thing shooting a weapon um, and for that, I think I can no longer avoid it. I'm probably gonna to have to go down the route of putting in a class together and um, instantiating some objects based on that class. Sounds horrific. It's actually very, very straightforward. Um, and if I think it would be useful, I could always use that to, um, to enhance the star field a little bit. But actually, looking at this at the moment, the stars just go by very happily and you do feel like you're moving up through the um, through the level. So I'm happy with that so far. We'll see how we get on with shooting a weapon in the next one. Okay, thanks very much folks, and happy programming.